I'm Diego Sanchez, COO of Housing Wire, and this is 10 Minute Talks. My guest today is Lauren Bowen, COO at Robert Slack. Lauren, welcome to 10 Minute Talks. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's so great to have you on. Before we dive in, could you give a 60 second introduction of yourself and Robert Slack? Absolutely. So my name is Lauren Bowen. I'm the Chief Operating Officer over here at Robert Slack. I have been with the company for about nine years now, which is actually how old we are also. I did start as an agent within the company, moved up to team leader, uh, team leader director, and now COO. So um, as you heard me mention, we're a relatively new company. So we are only nine years old and we are a leads provided brokerage that started in Florida. Could you talk a little bit more about that journey from agent to COO? That's quite a journey in nine years. It was definitely uh, quite a journey. So we started this brokerage with four agents. Uh, It started out in Central Florida and I was probably agent number six that came along and everything seemed to naturally progress. I wanna say everything kind of fell into how it should be. I took over the team leader position um, from Robert himself, who actually founded this company about six years ago. Um, From there, I started overseeing all of our team leaders in Florida. So we have 14 of them currently and then I started finding other stuff that I seem to excel in. Uh, one of those happened to be lead sources. So I oversee our lead sources as well, which kind of transitioned me into the role as COO. When I read the description of the company on LinkedIn, it was a very leads oriented description. Can you talk about the focus on leads at, at Robert Slack? Absolutely. So when we got into this business, uh, we, I was relatively new to real estate. Robert himself was as well. And we were, how do you find your clients? We knew how to prospect. We knew how to contact our neighbors and everything, but leads is really what started setting us apart. So portal leads specifically. So we are the largest spender of realtor.com leads in the country. We operate a massive flex team as well. And at this time we actually operate 16 different lead sources. So we never want our agents to run out of conversations to have. We always want them to have an opportunity knowing each day they wake up that there is going to be a conversation for someone who is either looking to buy or sell their property. So tell me about that economic model that you have with the agent then. If you're providing all these great leads, how are they splitting their commissions with you or how does the economic model work? So our commission splits are very comparable to other leads provided brokerages. Um, we do differentiate the splits on ever if it is a referral based lead or if it's not maybe like a CPL lead. So we do have two different commission splits based on that. Um, we do consider ourselves to have some of the best technology in this uh, market. Culture is also very important to us. So once people tend to meet us, they see that not only can they have a career in this, but they can have a family as well. Um, Our leads division actually has no monthly fees, no desk fees, no joining fees. We actually take it one step what we call a Slack Academy and a Slack Pro course. Uh, One's designed for our newly licensed agents. One is dedicated to our existing agents and seasoned agents. And all of those are completely free to our agents. We do not charge for those. Uh, We do have three other models. Those actually do have uh, small monthly fees, very small monthly fees. But we have found if we can provide the tools to make the agent successful, we don't need to, you know, start maximizing the monthly fees, desk fees, any of that. What we reap, we will sow. So your geographic focus right now is Florida. Are you, do you have plans to expand beyond that in, in the future? So as of last year, we actually did our first expansion into the Atlanta, Georgia market. Uh, we actually operate now in Athens, Macon, Atlanta, uh, Columbus. So our that was our first expansion. Uh, back in November, we actually expanded into Colorado and we are fully operational in Idaho and Texas now. So wow. We saw, I know 2023, especially the end of it was a massive growth opportunity for us. And I think a lot of it had to do with the market. And we saw a lot of brokerages not weathering the changes very well, um, teams needing to come under a bigger umbrella. And we had some great opportunities. So while a lot of brokerages decided to take a step back, we decided to take that as our opportunity to take a step forward. So we are actually fully operational in five states now. That's amazing. You're growing tremendously while, like you said, a lot of other brokerages and housing companies are are pulling back. What's the secret sauce there that's enabling you to, to take market share like that? 
That secret sauce has been nine years in the works. So we have been working on this brokerage since we started. We were always fully believed we could do better. Um, we have a fantastic corporate staff who everyone owns what they do. We have a four-person recruiting team. We have someone that oversees our corporate staff. We have someone in charge of IT, someone in charge of our listing department, someone in charge of our uh, compliance. I oversee the lead sources. We have team leaders that oversee each of our teams uh, geographically, so that way they always have someone to go to. But we knew what we had in place was going to let us grow. We knew that everything we had worked towards and the processes we put in place was going to allow us to take that step forward should the opportunity arise. Uh, the opportunity did arise, and we decided to take that step forward in five different states. And we were very fortunate to bring on some great teams, some great agents in those states. And just knowing that we have worked very hard over these past few years to make sure what we have in-house is ready for it was really what was able to afford us the opportunity to take that step. So where are you right now? Is it like, we just had all this expansion, let's digest, or are you still in aggressive growth mode? I am still in aggressive growth mode. I'm actually a licensed real estate broker in nine different states. Um, I tend not to sleep. So that is my hobby these days is just uh, acquiring broker's licenses, it feels like. But growth is there for us. Um, now, it's a little bit twofold. We don't want to get sloppy, I want to say. We want to make sure our processes, our implementations, our teams feel comfortable with the choice they made to join us. But at the same time, should another opportunity arise, should another team come to us and say, I would like to discuss the opportunity of joining you, it's not something we're going to say no to. So I fully plan on still taking that step forward should the opportunity be there. What's your ideal agent? My ideal in terms, of, agent, in terms of recruiting, in terms of like who 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 fits well at at, at Robert Slack. I like new agents. Um, we you know leads weren't something that were around. I won't. I should say around. Uh, leads have been around for a while. How to work a lead appropriately has seemed to be one of the hardest struggles. Uh, seasoned agents haven't always worked the best on our model because. The follow-up has to be there. We're not really teaching them to door knock. We're not teaching them to cold call. We're not doing FISBOs and expired. So with the new agents, they can see what we have to offer, our processes for doing it, and why we're doing it that way. And we've always had a lot more success with a newly licensed agent than we have with someone who's been in this business for 20 years. That's really interesting. And it's very different from how other brokerages are expanding and recruiting. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, what are your, so where are you right now in terms of number of agents and what are your uh, agent growth aspirations for 2024? So we are just shy of 800 agents. Um, we are fully operational in Florida, Georgia, Colorado, Idaho, and Texas. And I think probably within, probably within this next year, I'd say we will easily pass the 1200 mark for agents. Um, some of these states do offer us a lot more availability in our lead sources. So I fully expect that Texas will probably be 400 by the end of the year, just off of the opportunities we have over there. Georgia, Colorado, Idaho probably will have uh, teams of 100 each out there. So I fully think we'll at least easily be over 1200 by the end of this year. I think I understand now why you bought the ticket to the gathering where I look forward to meeting you in person in a couple of months. Um, there's just going to be a lot of opportunity to talk to other brokerage leaders and and to and to bring this exciting model uh, to, to 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 more people. Absolutely, uh, we're very fortunate that I've actually heard some great things about this conference. Uh, I've not had the opportunity to attend before, but some of our friends who run similar brokerages in different states than we do have always had nothing but the best to say about it. So this year, we decided that you know it's time for us to attend it. It's time for us to get our name out there nationwide, not just and actually be able to have the conversations that we need to with some of these other brokerages, with some of these other industry professionals. And we're really excited to see what we can take away from it. Well, Lauren, this conversation has made my day really exciting, really energized for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me.